Hi, and welcome to another Type With Me. Today I want to look into a new feature of Dino, mainly setting up workspaces and a mono repo. So I have here my Dino uh, application and I have two sub uh, programs, right, or, or, or libraries. One is high and one is log. And one of the things that I really like of it is that you have Dino.json where you can just define your name, your version, export, what you're going to export and your imports. And my import is here log at tvm log and then a version and with high i'm going to use log right and i have here a um, function say hi to which has a string and then i can do hi and then the name of it right uh, i have here log log is using shalk and i can do do here lock shalk.blue output and one of the things you're going to see here is that i can import shalk and it can be used both in lock as well as in high so you can do imports for your complete application which is great i think um, but you can also very easily override it uh, towards only imports that you need for these specific uh, libraries right um, another thing that you will see right here is i can do import say hi to then add tvm slash hi and then say hi to friend then i can very easily um yeah run it right and then of course you will see that i need to do allowance of everything that the great power of dino right security and then i get hi friend and then that message here within my console.log is in blue which is also great because that's what we wanted right shellac.blue and output so i think it's great to have a mono repo with a lot of functionality into it if you want to expose things you want to test out things there with sub packages i think this is a great uh, way to do so um you can do something like this uh, right dino publish and then dry run and of course i will get an error because yeah we need to submit or changes but what you could do here is seeing like hey it simulate the publishing of these packages and that's the high and the lock right um you see we do the dry run and the allow dirty if i just remove the allow dirty you will see that he will complain because we have uncommitted changes which is also a good thing in my opinion you see here we have a dino log file which is also great to look into and you will see here at the bottom that we have something like this right gsr and tvm log and then the version i think it's a great thing to do so because then of course when you publish everything yeah you have dependencies of everything on each other so that's that that's important Another great thing to know, and that's something that I'm also going to add to this description below, is to this one, right? It's indeed the manual of how workspaces work. But you know, uh, some things you can add to the Dino JSON file uh, of your root or within your package. And then you see here, for example, compiler options. It only will be allowed into the workspace and not into the different packages. Um, another thing and I think that's very important is, um, for example, the import map only workspaces, uh, imports on both scope uh, only on the workspace level. Um, then lint.files is deprecated, so you are not able to do so. Um, 
so you see here certain things are on both certain things are only at the root level so one of the things of course that's not on the root or the workspace level is the name the version and the export because that's specific for a um yeah for a package right and that's also what you see right here and we have workspace imports and then for example here dino we have name version and exports so i think it's mainly what we want right of course to get a better grips or grabs or what i want to do with it is to just play around with it and try to build a big mono repo within Dino. So I hope uh, that I will get some time to play around with it and maybe create some kind of a great package that I want to play around with and that I can put onto GitHub. If I have so uh, or if I don't so and I think it's a great thing to uh, to talk about I will create a video about it I'm for sure that I'm going to do that I always enjoyed to uh, work into a community and I think uh, within Dino and GSR that is coming up uh, or already is there I think there are great nice opportunities to build great packages within TypeScript and to use uh, to create great applications where TypeScripts runs everywhere so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something uh, from it um i found it very interesting to have this feature within the new dino runtime i really like that uh, you see here uh, uh, it's in the 1.45.2 so i think that's a great thing i hope you can also enjoy this and work around with this um, you know how to um, link your packages internally um, if you have any problem please leave a comment into the description into the um, to the video i try to um, try to answer as fast as possible but also for other people that are watching this video it could be of any help to them as well please let me know also what you think about the uh, workspace um, version that they build into it it's a nice thing to know uh, if you liked it uh, and if so um, that's nice um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel I really appreciate that uh, thank you for watching and see you next time